apologize for sitting this time. I got an old, old foot injury acting up, so my apologies. This is something that I read here Thursday at uh, Utica Poet Society, but I only see a few people who are here then, so I hope you dig it. It's called Lake of Fire. If God's like a genie, but you only get one wish, I certainly wasted mine. It felt necessary at the time, but I was just a child. I didn't know the life I'd have laid out for me, the things I would later need or need undone. I would have prevented my dad's heart attack, of course. I would have prevented my brother's seizures. I would have overturned a certain election. <laughs> I would have at least paid my student loans off to make the damn phone call stop. I was a child though, and if I had thought about it at all, I would have assumed I was going to at least get three mulligans in this life from the Lord Almighty. But if I had just the one, I used it then. My dad was a boy scout until right up before Eagle, until he discovered women and how much better they are to hold on to than badges. I was a boy scout for three months until I quit on the way back home from our first camping trip in the middle of the car ride home. I was done. I don't hate the outdoors. I grew up scrabbling on the south side hills of Little Falls looking for Herkimer diamonds. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of a light hike, but at the end of the day, I like to sleep in a bed and poop in a toilet just too damn much. <laughs> I don't remember whose idea it was to take a bunch of first years on a three-night jaunt into the Adirondacks in the middle of July, in the middle of black fly season, <laughs> with a humidity around 135 percent, with no air in the air to breathe, just stickiness and little biting things. I have no idea whose idea it was to include a 15 mile trike through a swamp to somewhere called Dexter Lake. But it won't go down as one of their better ideas. My dad was an assistant scoutmaster and damn if he didn't carry me back about half the way to the main campsite from Dexter Lake. Lying in the tent there after returning, a third of my body covered in bug bite welts, my legs burning with exhaustion, at lactic acid. I prayed to God to get me out of two more nights of it. And about an hour after that, the sky opened up to lightning and thunder and torrential rain. They were pulling up the stakes and I wasn't even crawling out of the water. I was just too tired. And it was raining on me as they were pulling up the stakes. And I laid there covered in welts and Charlie horses. A few hours after that, I was quitting in the car as we drove home. I liked tying knots and helping little old ladies across the street, but the rest of it, I guess I burned up my only get out of jail free card to escape that. I'm sorry for all the people I could have saved if I knew I only got one wish. But hell is the Adirondacks in black fly season. And thank God for the thunder. Thank God for the lightning. I escaped from hell that night. Who knows if I'm going back there someday, but for that one evening, my prayers were answered. Thank you. Mike Tony, everybody. We'll be having a couple more times tonight. I really like that piece.